Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. My name is Iken, this game is awesome and I have conquered the entire map, almost. Um, I played a bit offline mainly because uh, it was more of the same. And the one thing that I can say about the Jagged Alliance uh, 3 endgame is it is quite a blast. It fulfills your power fantasies. Uh, because you can just go to town with the enemies. Uh, today's episode will contain all of two uh, different uh, subjects. Number one, we will do a curb stomp uh, where we are fighting against the Dragonfly squad with the Prime Team. And I will show you the reason why the Prime Team is no longer in action. Uh, before we kind of go into that, I still want to just uh, indicate how awesome the characters are. Uh, everybody is now level 10. Uh, you can, for instance, see Igor is like 80 uh, at lowest in Wisdom, but everything else is 100 or uh, 98, so that's really awesome. Uh, we skilled him to uh, to now be a melee killing machine. Barry Unger, a fantastic uh, character. Uh, you can see everything is 91 and above. Uh, he's a very, very well-rounded character uh, nowadays. I haven't used an explosive uh, in a while, mainly because snipers are just king uh, and queen and the entire royalty. Uh, and then there's a long time nothing. And then uh, s uh, somewhere at the bottom of the barrel, all of the other things are located. Uh, we got Hogbite. Uh, just look at the stats. Straight up phenomenal, almost 100 in everything. Very, very, very strong uh, sets, including uh, Marksman, uh, straight up 100. I finished his build with uh, more uh, flank, uh, flank ability. He has de facto 50% uh, damage reduction, always enough grit to go on. He continues to shoot and shoot and shoot back, so super strong. We got Ice Williams, again, very common picture here. Uh, he is this lowest uh, is explosives with 81 and that is already uh, kind of hilarious everything else 90 plus uh, we got the full agility build he can actually with frog leaping uh, move quite far and uh, for kind of those mid and uh, backline characters I put uh, lightning reflexes in I think it is a phenomenal ability just completely ignoring damage once per uh, per engagement we got uh, Livewire, which funnily enough, due to her almost 100 wisdom, has managed to learn everything. Look, even her strength, all right? She learned 43 points in strength. Like she's at 90 strengths. Uh, can you imagine she even has a full inventory, like a full inventory space? Uh, we got the full dexterity build with her, um, just silent sniping, assassination. Well, that's really good. The only thing that I would do different is a terrier shot and would instead take lightning reflexes. But other than that, the build is good. I like it. And MD, I get uh, got to appreciate just how important those inspiring strikes are. I will, I would say, um, I would always take at least one sniper in uh, a full team that does have inspiring strikes, simply because high morale also improves your AP and just makes everything better. Everything's just better with high morale. What I wouldn't do again is the whole savior thing. Um, that's something for Jagged Alliance to still consider. Uh, maybe improving. I would actually put in wisdom perks that allow to get rid of wounds. Maybe a limited amount of wounds per, uh, per engagement. But that way you could, during the tactical engagement, effectively heal someone back up. But point is, even though 32 grit uh, with kind of the medical 96 uh, score that we have kind of looks good on paper. I get it. It's not bad. Uh, it's very, very, very seldom that uh, anyone even takes damage to begin with. So to, to justify that, I think it would require a pretty sizable improvement of the healing uh, capabilities equ uh, equally. The arterial shot and the trick shot, cool on paper, but you're just killing everything in one shot anyway. So what's the point? Um, got Vanguard, extra hit points, flanker, more crit. Uh, I did not take lightning reactions uh, with him, 
potentially if I had to do it again I would go a bit lighter here and instead uh, take lightning reactions and in terms of just uh, the equipment I want to showcase uh, that as well uh, Igor a really good thing is just uh, just incredibly uh, good it's a fantastic weapon the auto 5 for free movements good as well uh, Barry Unger look what can I say the guy is just a machine uh, the Winchesters are good the second Winchester character now has uh, medium Carmo uh, Carmo here this weapon is uh, fantastic I could go into like full sniper mode but yeah didn't really uh, matter hot bite uh, for the last mission uh, I got a bit of a gimmick for you guys we are going to go in and we are Oh, we don't have the UB dot. Okay, never mind. In that case, we're going to use the RPK just because I wanted to actually use a machine gun and see how well the Overwatch functions. Just really good equipment all around. Um, Ice, we already had him. We got another medium car, uh, Carmo on Livewire. I did not go all the way down to the south and uh, improved all of uh, the armor to... Uh, with weaves you can buy as many as you want but uh, that is potentially the only improvement to the equipment that we do have i found m82s which are hilariously strong snipers so uh, these are having a hell of a penetration but the point is this thing here already kills everything in one go uh, so not 100 percent sure which sniper is better but uh, we got uh, we got them all uh, just for good measure and as you can see with the exception of just a little bit of weave everything else fully weaved here you can't weave the helmet fully weaved here can't weave that uh, but uh, desk squad armor is fantastic enough in its own right um, we could weave this and this and we could weave this and that but other than that it's pretty much the best equipment we got uh, lmgs we got mortars we got it all we just got it all gas masks, uh, night vision goggles, you name it. So the cool part about the last levels is it gives you a lot of uh, stuff to work with. And really, we're going to showcase how all of that stuff is coming together as we're going to fight a few enemies. I'm not even sure if these enemies are really good, um, really good a depiction of uh, how the game how the game is supposed to be played but um, let me just show you how pretty much everything um, went in the last few uh, in the last few sectors so Hogbite puts himself up here Ego moves up Surprise, surprise, motherfuckers. And Overwatch yes. just straight up kills them. Anyone who would uh, move now, and I mean anyone, uh, would simply die. So what we're going to do is pull them all. Because why not? Very good. Bring them all. Bring them all. I think that's the first damage that I took in ages. Of course. That was so cool. I wish I could shoot like that. The only reason why we took that is because we couldn't rush up fast enough. Yeah, so in case that fails, what you will see is a bit of a headshot and a bit of a headshot. <laughs> uh, and even on longer distance, when she says she can't hit, the reality is she very much can.
I mean, this is all across the map, and MD regularly hits uh, hits those things. Well, he just removed uh, the entire tent. So only because this is so far out of range. That guy even has a chance to survive. I do it. Good. We're hunkering down. Yeah. Hawkbite is ready. So oftentimes enemy uh, the enemies are already dead at this point. Had I pushed in a bit further, this guy would have been in the Overwatch zone. And really that is it. Tell you, every single time, without an exception, it worked exactly like that. And that's it. That is how the Prime Team rolls. They are very, very, very strong. In the meantime, let's abort our missions here. And it is time for the actual fight, which is the last, very last fight. A20. It's the name of the game. 17 enemies. Good, we got armor piercing. Oh, look at that. No more armor piercing. There it takes a couple of grenades. Uh, what are we going to do with you? I think a bit of mustard gas isn't bad. And we have explosive grenades uh, loaded. Don't want to use uh, the... I don't want to use the armor piercing. So let's use hollow point. Okay, fabulous. We don't have a lot of armor penetrating rounds, but that's okay. Let's take a look here. The Major's tent is up there. A couple of machine gun nests, lots of guard positions, another machine gun nest over here. I think we should uh, make our way exactly to that machine gun nest. Very good. That's one down. Who should take that machine gun nest? I think a good person to do that would be Pierre. I will surprise them or die trying. Very good. The rest of you. Looking for stealth kill position. I like playing without life wire because uh, not having map hack makes it a bit more interesting. I don't know where the enemies are. Good blood. Steroid. Enemy sniper is uh, up there. Interesting. And there is another machine gun.
Good. So far, that looked, relatively speaking, surprisingly easy. Hmm. Now that we're moving away, I don't think that Pierre adds value by just standing there. Got it. You wish me to call like a whipped dog? It is a shame they will not be able to watch me move. This can move. Okay, that here is where we could use a bit of a machine gun. Alright, but I don't see how they won't spot my magnificent physique. Scrolling in the shadows is cowards. You wish me to call like a whipped dog? Huh? How? Okay, not 100% sure how. Apparently Pierre has been spotted out. Attention soldiers! This is President Lafontaine. I am being kept in the Major's tent at the top of the... Oh! <coughs> well, well, the old rascal has quick hands. He may lose them later. In the meantime, Legion! We're under attack. Time to prove your worth. Waiting for orders. All right. In the meantime, indeed, prove your worth. Oh, fuck! I will make this as painful as possible. The prey will not see. This is how I approach the key. Veteran Gunner. This is a much better start compared to uh, the soldiers, uh, the soldiers' camp, <laughs> mainly because we haven't immediately started with getting completely swarmed. That is how a real man does it. All right, moving in. Quiet, man. Yeah, you're too too far away. I knew that he would use his stupid his stupid um, return fire. They always do. I would love to take that machine. Gun nest as soon as possible. Okay, cool. Well, that was a super successful first round. Love it. That brute uh, does have return fire, so we're going to use someone who is far, far away. Morale is now very high. Bitty Pit, Beat Pete. Let's see. Oh, oh, fuck. Quiet and deadly as the plague. Almost dead. Oh, we're not going to take any chances here. That was almost as good as I would have done. Reloaded. And in case someone else uh, shows up. Waiting for orders. Got it. In the meantime, I will not be killed. Take day. cover. Cool. Coming undetectable. Quiet and efficient. Good. Not sure how many more uh, might be on that left hand side.
Damn it, Overwatch failed. I will have you buckets. A simple shot. I am wounded. Nah, close. It is quite unjust everywhere. All right, buns. Good, we're moving up. I would like you to mount this. Oh yeah. Sniper down there. But we still got lightning reflexes with Larry. Which means he would be able to just fall down if needed. Sneaking up on He is severely wounded. And thankfully the automatic rifles are doing a Fabulous job. I will surprise them or die trying. Good, there is another sniper. Should not see us yet. The major. Interesting. I will go quiet if I must. Good. Leave that. Steroid. Gets a bit into cover and then begins to heal himself. C'est parti. No, I do not have the shot. Pas de problème. This of course. So easy. I'm already bored. Fully armored uh, major. Pierre moves over. Come on. Hit at least once, Pierre. I have a good shot at this fool. I am wounded. Well, wounded is not yet dead. Good. That is what I would uh, say was a good hit. Get the lightning reflexes out of uh, the guy. Alright, Major is panicked and is taken out. Execute the prisoner. I repeat, President LaFontaine is to be executed immediately. Take away their hope. And reclaim your country. You kidding me? Oh. I am here. I will bring the fight to them. Good, moving up to the major. Hunker down. C'est parti. Flay. Not seeing any enemies. Looking for stealth key position. Sure. 
Larry moves up Let me show you and hides. Steroid moves up and hides. Blood here. You got it. I really like blood and how we've made the assault rifle work in a non-overwatch kind of fashion. Alright, Lafontaine has been shot, but not killed, so we really need to get up there. Lafontaine uh, takes a nice little jog down. Damn it. Can't get further. Okay, as good as it gets in terms of an Overwatch. Quiet now. Let me show you how I used to sneak into pharmacies. I would fall on them like a tree in the forest. Yeah, okay. Good. Steroid. Get down. No problem. And yeah. AK Overwatch. Uh, assault rifle Overwatch. No. No. Yes. Yes. Overwatch failed. Pierre moves in. Oh yeah. Fights against his former comrades. And has actually become a really decent mercenary. You did a great job. I had faith the High Command was organizing a strike team to come find me. It seems my faith was not misplaced. Congratulations on the quality of your disguise. You look more like mercenaries than commandos. I admit I cannot guess to which division you belong. Please, show me your ideas. Are you okay? This is not the first time I have been shot at. Back in those days, I had a gun in my hand. But it's like a memory from another life now. Nevertheless, an old soldier's reflexes. Well, you look quite shot, to be honest. You were in the military? Of course. Don't they teach that in school? I was CEO of the Grand Chien Special Forces Brigade. Rank of Colonel. Me and my boys ended the civil war when we refused to follow unlawful orders. And instead, we fought to overthrow the bloody communists who laid down our weapons. And I answered in court for insubordination. Even served some time in prison. Luckily, free elections were being held. And the new government pardoned me. I ran for president and the rest is the modern history of Grand Chien. Cool story. We are mercenaries. mercenaries. But why? I overheard people talking in camp about Colonel Fischer entering the valley with a lot of soldiers. I assumed he was coming to free me. Your daughter sent us. You? But of course, the government is too divided. She had to be the one to organize the rescue mission. God knows what she must have gone through. I should have never let myself be captured like that. 
for sure betrayed you. That explains a lot, and it suggests much more. None of it good. The right wing wants to line their pockets by selling Gon Xion resources to the highest bidder, and the army will answer to whomever pays them the most. When I was abducted, both groups must have seen an opportunity to accomplish their goal. This kind of thing makes my blood boil, man. <laughs> it is clear what I have to do. If I don't act quickly, this country may descend into another bloody civil war. I must go back to the game. For sure framed us for committing war crimes. The tough lesson I learned from the civil war is that those who are about to commit war crimes often try to blame others for doing the same. Yeah. Do you think the Major was part of a conspiracy? I believe he was working for himself. He had his private army, and he was de facto ruler of the Ajani. I studied him, and I got to know him a little. If he had any plans to overthrow the government, he wouldn't side with anyone else to do that. Thank you again for your help. I wish you luck getting out of this mess. For sure is using you to legitimize his actions. I will uncover his plot as best as I can at the capital. But I must first rally my political allies and show the people I am still alive. You may be on your own here in the Ajani for Farewell, soldiers. I wish you luck. For strength and courage, I know you are ready. Happy. Thank you, soldiers. That oh, was wow. An amazing display of tactical skill and courage. Well, first of all, great music in the background. And now, dear Major, we have a bit of a bone to pick. Great job. I wish I could have trained my legion to be half as impressive. But those dummies couldn't even shoot the goddamn president. Maybe they just didn't believe in you anymore. Yeah. You still alive, kid? I'll be damned. Why were you trying to kill the president? Honestly? I didn't really care. The idealists like him always die before their time's up anyway. If not me, it would have been some other asshole trying to carve out a piece of this place to make their own. Besides, I wanted to see if I could boost my boy's morale. I really hated that guy. I thought if they killed him, they might feel powerful enough to kill you. As the major, I'm expected to give. Oh, I'm very aware of the kind of orders you give. The order to send me to Diamond Red, that was one of my favorites. Look at the bright side, kid. I could have just ordered your execution. Why didn't you? Just getting soft, I guess. So you're the major. The name's Spike Scally. Formerly of aim. Just a merc like you. Only less delusion. I became the major when I decided to stop letting people yank me around on the street. You see, I first came here as just a merc with a contract. Your amiga, Corazon, hired me to destabilize oh. the and take some of those sweet diamond mines. I won't let like you work. My legion may not be the best military force there is, but it did the job. And it spread like wildfire. Why did you break with Adonis? My deal was with Corazon. It was all off the books. I seized the mines and she and I split the profits. That was the deal. And that bitch got greedy. Canceled my contract and demanded I hand the mines of the legion over to her. Different century, same colonizer bullshit. I, th I told her where well, she could stick the idea. Then is when she got stupid, hired Biff Abscott and the bad bunch of buffoons to take me out. Ha, huh. I would have felt bad for him except 
I was laughing too hard. Never sent prey to do a predator's job. Hey, that's not nice. Yeah, Larry was part of the team, the dude. The UA merc showed up, and my legion proved to be no match for professionals. But you made the same mistake I made with Corazon. And now she's got the knife ready to plunge. That's what this whole thing is about? Just some ridiculous revenge plot and some... some... money? What about what you taught us of patriotism, pride, honor? Yeah, that was bullshit, kid. I had to spew that crap to fill the ranks. Might not have bothered. All I got was murderers and thieves anyway. Except you. It was different. I should kill you where you stand. Believe it or not, kid, I've been waiting for you to try. I had plans for you. Big plans. That's too late now. Go ahead and kill me. I guess I got it coming. Do you have any evidence against Corazon? Of course. I've still got the contract. The wording is purposefully vague. But along with some correspondence I kept, it'll sound pretty convincing in court. Here, this is where I keep all that stuff. Biff was your friend. I don't know what gave you that idea. He was always a poor excuse of a merc. And it was about time he and his bunch of merc clowns got a reality check. I have to admit, I do agree with your point, but I do not agree with your way of proving it. I mean, suppose you're not wrong. You can't hire the Major of the Legion, boys. <laughs> you don't have that... But I would come with you for free. Just to see the face of that little bitch when she sees her worst nightmare coming true. But are you sure you want to be involved with a war criminal? Because let's not bullshit each other. That's what I am. Then it is best to stay on the hunt. I cannot sort out how I feel about you joining us. But I know you are acting more like the Major I first met than you have in a long time. Not the Major anymore, kid. Just call me Spike. And don't worry about your feelings. They just get in the way anyhow. Uh, you're welcome to the team. What a day. What? Oh, we can recruit him? Why didn't I go here before? I guess old Spike's last hurrah ain't over yet. Are you sure? If it is your wish. No way. You can hire the Major. 80 health, 90, 90. Pretty good stats. Holy shit. Good leadership, good mechanical, shite weapon, and most certainly he didn't have that type of that type of ammo and weapon around, but that is good. Okay, not that it makes a lot of difference, but yo, Spike, welcome to the team. Since you work for free, you get all of the nice toys and buns. I still appreciate your service. You're good. Don't take that the wrong way, but you're costing too much money. Whilst good old Spike here works for free. Good. Nice. Well, this is interesting. My father just called me. You really did it. He is alive and well. I cannot thank you enough. You not only helped a daughter, you saved a country. But I'm getting carried away. You got in trouble yourselves while helping me. I won't forget that. I'll see what I can do to help you in turn. I knew that I have trusted the right people. Thanks to you, my father is still alive. But moreover, you fought to save my beloved country. Thank you for showing me the meaning of courage, resilience, and valor. Magnifique. But what shall I hunt now? I can't wait to tell my father about all the problems I helped solve. Of course, he would just say that they were problems I created in the first place, so... 
Maybe I'll just tell him I went camping with friends. Our strength and valor has brought order back to my country. Now it is time to rebuild the right way. I am in possession of much fulfillment from this success. And I am thanking God I have retained all of my extremities. No better taste than the taste of victory. Well, maybe a nice chili con carne has it been, but not by much. I am satisfied that I performed as superlatively as I always do. I know this wouldn't have been possible without me, so I feel this victory is one in which I can take some measure of pride. That's how we do it! Hey, no bad news to stand up to us. Tell them my homies. You need anything? Just hop. Peace out. The glory is added to Dovich's name, and the conditions will be awarded to us all. But first, we must drink. A toast to you, my brave comrades. Man, I'm so glad I'm sober. If I was high right now, I'd probably be saying something stupid about surviving a zombie apocalypse. On the other hand, I have to admit that combat is more fun when I think my gun fires rainbows. Hey, we did it! I almost can't believe I'm here, standing next to you guys. I thought I'd be stuck in a medical tent the whole mission, not here at the final battle. I mean, I am supposed to be here, right? Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> you actually did it. Not sure what that means for me, but I expect I'll soon find out. All of our enemies have been properly pummelfied. Makes me feel powerful. Excuse me. Need to go lift now. It's a day of achievements. Time to go for a personal best. Hello. Sorry for the lapse in communication, but I've been busy putting out fires. Your actions helped shape the changes that are happening in my country, and you certainly deserve a full report. Thanks to you, Father came back to the capital just in time to prevent the military coup. Without Colonel Foshu, the battalion commanders who intended to join him instead attempted to flee the country. My father made certain they did not. Pierre helped restore order to the Ajani region. My father enlisted him as a special military advisor, and he worked day and night to disband and in some cases destroy the last remnants of the Legion. He has proven himself to be a noble and compassionate person. I think he always was. He just fell in with the wrong crowd. I believe I... I mean, we... helped him to change into a better man. As for the Major, he will never again be allowed within the borders of Granchi. I don't want him having any further influence on my peer. I mean, my people. Grand Chien has suffered not just from the fighting, but also from the Red Rebis epidemic. Thanks to your efforts, it has been contained and the production of a vaccine has begun. Dr. Cronenberg was awarded a posthumous Grand Chien Medallion of Merit for her sacrifice. Her peers vowed to continue studying ways to combat the disease in her honor. One bright spot to emerge from the darkness of the Ajani hostilities is the marriage of Maman Lelian and Mr. Chimurenga. <laughs> it has made many people very happy. The two of them are already organizing the next Panta Cruel Carnival celebrations, and they plan to turn it into a world-class event. There will be drinks, dance, fireworks, and the honor guard of female red maki to keep the peace. I think you would like their uniforms. They are very eye-catching. But enough talking about our troubles. I heard that a very peculiar green diamond called Pride of the Ajani was auctioned for 55 million dollars. I am livid. That diamond is an important part of my people's history. It belongs in the Grand Chien Museum. Ah, but my attention is being called elsewhere, my friend. Let me just say one last thing. I learned that Corazon Santiago faced trial, but there wasn't enough evidence to expose her. That is not true, we got evidence. She deserves to rot in prison for her involvement in the war crimes she pinned on you. 
I can only imagine what a blow to your reputation that is for you. I'm sure that the truth will eventually be revealed. I'll do what I can to help. Until then, you have my best wishes. Au revoir. Cool. Well, listen, guys, that has been just an incredibly joyful ride of Jagged Alliance 3. Really appreciated the game. I think it was very well done. I'll do a separate game review, but my first impression are throughout positive. The game is close to the original of uh, the Jagged Alliance series. Super good um, simulator of, uh, of strategic warfare. Potentially one of the best tactical uh, RPGs that I've ever played. I will definitely play it again. Maybe the next run could be one uh, where we're going for a few achievements. I know there is a solo playthrough, so maybe it is going to be a bit more a challenging one. How about a solo playthrough uh, with uh, just one uh, soldier mission impossible, all the hard stuff. And seeing if we can pull that off, if we can actually go through the game with just one uh, quote-unquote terminator of a soldier. Uh, we're going to find out. I'll see what kind of uh, what kind of achievements uh, runs are possible, and I'll te give it a bit of a testing behind the scenes. I will now produce a few guides as well as a uh, recap of the game. But I hope uh, sincerely that you've enjoyed the run just as much as I did. It was a pleasure playing that game. And although I over-optimized uh, it a bit too much uh, so that the Prime team just made it trivial, the game itself was really, really, really good. So appreciate uh, more that has happened and appreciate how it has turned out. I think we've gotten a pretty good ending overall, if not uh, close to the uh, best one. So that was good. Uh, see you in another playthrough. Uh, feel free to check out the channel. I got plenty of other tactical games uh, at uh, your disposal. Have a good day and see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.